The target muscle is the triceps brachii short and middle heads colored in red. The long head of the triceps brachii enters active insufficiency upon completion of elbow extension. The short and middle heads of the triceps become more active in this exercise. It is important to hold the band under the front foot and not the rear foot. The reason, from the biomechanical standpoint, as long as the band is at an angle to the forearm, rotation force is working on the elbow. To maintain rotation momentum through the entire movement, it is important to lift the elbows above the body line. The target muscles are the triceps brachii and anterior deltoid, colored red. Keep your elbows close to your sides to emphasize the triceps brachii, not the chest. The superficial and deep abdominal muscles stabilize the spine and prevent it from collapsing. In the upper video, the arms are located in a line with the lower part of the chest, the main muscle, anterior deltoid. In the lower video, the arms are located in a line with the upper part of the chest, the main muscle, the triceps brachii. The target muscle is the triceps brachii colored red. The latissimus dorsi stabilizes the shoulder joint. The hand that is not working and serves as support will hold the active arm in the area of the triceps brachii and not on the side of the biceps brachii muscle. The reason? Gripping the area of the biceps brachii impairs performance of the exercise in the full range of movement. This exercise places the shoulder joint in a position that makes it vulnerable to injury. Therefore, this exercise is not the best choice for people who have shoulder pain. The angle of the shoulder only affects the long head of the triceps, the head closest to the body, because this muscle also passes over the shoulder joint. The latissimus dorsi stabilizes the shoulder joint, maintain a neutral lumbar region, collect the abdomen inwards and raise arms under the control of the core muscles.